System design interviews can be some of the most intimidating parts of the technical interview process, mostly because people don't know where to start or what is expected. Luckily for you, I've failed my first year and have passed enough of them to know precisely what works. Let's say the question you're given is design a social media app like Instagram. First off, don't panic. Instagram is a massive platform with dozens of components from messaging and media storage to feed ranking and recommendations. You're not designing the entire company in one hour. Start by asking clarifying questions. What exactly are they asking you to build? Are you focusing on uploading and viewing content or maybe just a feed or maybe messaging? Whatever it is, get clear on the scope before diving in. Once the scope is set, gather the requirements and categorize them into two groups, functional and non-functional. Functional requirements are the features the system should support. For example, users should be able to upload images and videos and view other users' posts. Non-functional requirements define how the system should perform. Features like high availability, the number of users it should support, having low latency and low fault tolerance and more. Once you have the requirements down, design a high level plan. Start by writing out some rough API endpoints and a data model that aligns with the functional requirements. No need to get too detailed or try to make it perfect. This is about framing the core functionality. Next, move on to a very simple architectural diagram, something basic like this. A client will connect to a load balancer, which will route the traffic to two different app servers, one for reads and the other for writes, since reads typically outnumber writes. The write server connects to a metadata database and both servers interact with blob storage for storing images and video. It's not fancy, but it maps to the functional requirements. From here, you start layering in improvements based on the non-functional needs. For example, to reduce read latency, you could add a Redis caching layer in front of the database. At this point, you can talk through your database choice, maybe PostgreSQL for structured data or a distributed NoSQL option for better horizontal scaling. To personalize the feed, maybe introduce a feed generation service that pre-computes user's timelines and stores it in the cache. To handle spikes in writes, you could add a message queue so instead of writing directly to the database, post gets processed asynchronously. Just make sure to call out the trade-offs, added latency and more complexity. You can also mention how you'd scale the app servers across regions or add health checks and retries for resiliency. The idea here isn't to build something perfect, it's to build something that meets the requirements and show that you understand the reasoning behind each piece of your design. Before wrapping up, always take a moment to review and summarize what you've designed. Make sure your system meets both the functional and the performance expectations. If there's something you didn't cover, acknowledge it and explain what you do with more time. If you have a system design or technical interview coming up or just want to sharpen your interviewing skills, apply for my technical interview coaching program. It's a one-on-one -on -one coaching experience where we focus on understanding, execution, and communication. You'll learn how to break down problems, design scalable systems, and explain your thinking with clarity and confidence. Head over to umacodes.com to apply today.